So what's happening here, Beck? So I'm going to take my picture in front of this big address. Uh huh. Because if you're going to make your address this big and it's going to be 1972, you're going to get some 47 year olds taking your picture in front of it. I think you're right. <laughs> Holy smokes, look at the size of that. All right, I'll take your picture in front of it. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's good, right there. These new sunglasses look good. They do look good. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And where the heck are the Albans? We are in, I can never say the name of this town. Well, it's, we it's, actually it's, don't know I think how to pronounce it. Vincennes? Yeah, I think I think it's Vincennes, Indiana. We think. Uh, we think. But we if are at... Not, tell us. Yeah, <laughs> if you know, <laughs> comment down below. So we think it's Vincennes, Indiana. And um, we are at the William... Uh, where are we at? <laughs> Is it... <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> William Harrison. William Harrison. The hey, ninth president. He's our ninth president. Yeah, we're at his house. <laughs> he invited us over for coffee, and uh, no, we. <laughs> but we, yeah, we're at William Harrison's house. House. He's our ninth president, and he uh, w uh, lived here in uh, Vincennes, in this town, <laughs> in this house since <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> Let's go to the house. <laughs> okay, so they have this like little historic town here and even more stuff way down the street there and there's a park across the way. Um, but this here is the house. Grouseland. It's called Grouseland. Look at the grouse. If you're a Three Stooges fan. <laughs> <laughs> so Grouseland. William Henry when, Harrison. Yeah, well, William Henry Harrison, our ninth president, lived here. Uh, open daily, 10 to 5. It's 10 minutes after 5. No, it's 10 minutes after 10. Or 10 minutes after 10, I mean. I'm sorry. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. <laughs> so, governor of the Indiana Territory from 1800 to 1812. President of the United States in 1840. So, let's just say mansion owned and restored by Francis Vigo, chapter daughters of the American Revolution. All right, that's quite an impressive home. Eight bucks. For Eight bucks a person. Sorry. All right, so it's open daily, ten to ten to five, and then uh, please <laughs> ring that bell. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a docent will greet visitors at the porch and it's eight dollars a person uh, seniors are seven dollars and children and students are five dollars each and i'm hoping that they'll allow me to videotape inside i hope so too and this is part of the historic village this is what they call the indiana territory uh and what it was like back in the days of the 1800s, early 1800s. Indiana Territory, on July 4th, 1800, the western part of the Northwest Territory became the Indiana Territory. It covered land that would eventually be included in the present states of Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Vincennes, on the Wabash River was established as the seat of government. President John Adams appointed William Henry Harrison the first territorial governor. Harrison later became the ninth president of the United States. So when he was governor, this was the little town here, and this was his, basically the governor's mansion. <laughs> So we rang that bell and nobody is answering and it is now 10.23 in the morning. But we are going to... Let's look at this guy. What's with this guy? Who's that guy? That's a, just a big beetle. He did. Yeah. I shall call him Ringo. Huh? 
has air conditioning. This house has air conditioning? Well, it was a big thing back in the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. These look like wells of some sort. Emerson Mills. The Millstones from Emerson Mills. The larger millstone is made from French burr cut into wedge-shaped pieces and bound together by a heavy metal loop. Yeah, a stand one. is made of two similar stones, the upper stone rotating on the nether stone. This is way too complicated. Right here. To grind, to wheat. grind wheat and corn. Both of these stones were used at Emerson Mills. Huh. How about that? What's this? What's this? Two blocks south of this marker, on March 6, 1814, was born Sarah Knox Taylor, the daughter of Captain and Mrs. Zachary Taylor. So, Miss Taylor married Lieutenant Jefferson Davis at Louisville, Kentucky, on June 17, 1835, and died in West Feliciana Parish, Louisiana, on September 15th, of the same year. Zachary Taylor subsequently became the 12th President of the United States and Jefferson Davis the first and only President of the Confederate States of America. So this was erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy in 1964. Interesting. So this is a two-sided sign here. Harrison became governor of Indiana Territory in 1800. He administered government of District of Louisiana from 1804 to 1805. In Vincennes, he served as a contact during the expedition. Surviving records document his support and his involvement in decisions about Western Indian chiefs visiting Washington. Continue on the other side. In 1806, on their way to the falls of the Ohio and then Washington after the expedition, Lewis and Clark stopped in Vincennes. Lewis wrote from Vincennes on October 30th to the Secretary of War, Henry Dearborn. The expedition explored lands of the Louisiana Purchase and the Pacific Northwest, 1803 to 1806. Interesting. This looks like it's the gift shop entrance. Now, I do not know this just from ever being here before or I do my, or my psychic abilities. However, this sign. <laughs> so Indiana Territory Capital Tours begin at the Log Cabin Visitor Center. So I'm thinking that's it way down there. So, but look at it. this, like a like a like an old town. Look, they got a garden going here. Elihu Stout. Elihu Stout, printer to the in Indiana Territory. So this was like the the newspaper of the Indiana Territory here. And. This is a big red house, and I don't know who lived here. Let's look in the window. Let's, let's be a peeping Tom. Let's see if there's anything in here. I see a table. I see, this might have been a school of some sort. I think it might have been a school. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe even a church. Here's the Log Cabin Visitor Center. Guided tours, information, restrooms. It does say oh, it's open. And then one last building over there. The signs? Liars. Are liars. The Log Cabin was open, but... Uh, we could have a guided tour, but we're not really interested in that. that. We wanted to see the mansion. However, the mansion does not open at noon. We are six hours away from home. We have other plans. It is Sunday. We have work tomorrow. But we have somewhere else that we need to be at noon today. Yes. 
And that is a vlog in itself for another day. So now I think we should just get some ice cream. I think you're right. I think ice cream would is 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 in order. I think we should dedicate today to ice cream. I think every day should be dedicated well, to ice cream. Well, it is Ronald Reagan dedicated the month of July to ice cream. He did. Yeah, it's well, a hey, it's July. July is National Ice Cream Month. And who are we to argue with the President of the United States? Oh, I argue with the President of the United States all the time. <laughs> Every day. Every day. But that is your... That is my... That is your American right. That's right. It's written in the Constitution. That you can disagree all you want. Yep. So, but, uh, all right. So, do not believe the signs, folks, that say that it's open daily from 10 to 5. It is open daily... 10 to 5. But on it, Sundays, it's, but on Sundays it's noon to 5. Well, we don't even know if it's I think it's five. noon to 4, maybe, even. Well, it's a beautiful house. It's a beautiful house. Too bad we couldn't see inside. That's okay. You know what? We're, we travel all over the place. There could be a day that we are near the vicinity and we will come back to it. Right, Becky? No, I'm never coming back to this town. I'm you never got <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. We try to see as many president homes as we possibly We do. Can. We try to see every presidential. We're going to. Well, that's kind of the goal. We want to see every presidential home and library that there is to see. So, I mean, we're still in keeping with we've seen the home. Right, but I don't know if he has a library. <laughs> yeah. However, this was not his presidential. Um, this was just when he was a governor. But I don't think, I don't know the number, but I think it's out of all 45 presidents, very few of them have libraries. It's true. I think there's only like 12 or 13 maybe, if that. <laughs> we'll look that up. We will. If only there was a device that right. we could find information. Something that we could carry in our pockets. Yeah, that has all the information in the world and we can use to argue with strangers and look at cat videos. That's right. <laughs> so there is the William Henry Harrison house. Becky has found something. We will follow her finger down. It's an egg. It's a little egg. Egg. So it looks like a sparrow egg. And it probably Not fell a out of a egg? list. Grouse egg would be kind of big. It's bigger than a chicken egg. I know that. Well, then I don't care about that egg. <laughs> Why would you have a sparrow egg in grouse land? <laughs> it's a steamy one today. It's another steamy one. It's been steamy, steamy, steamy all weekend long. It's not supposed to be as bad today as it it's was. Not. Down here it is, but up but, home it's yeah. like way the, cooled off. Yeah, back home I think it's like in the like upper 70s. Yeah, I think but that. But down here it's still like 90 degrees. It's supposed to be 91 today down yeah. here. I think it's almost reached that. Luckily we have air conditioning. Ah, air conditioning. Also a luxury in the 1800s, as we've seen on the as mansion. Apparently, yeah, if you were the president. Yeah. <laughs> well, this wasn't on the tour, but we saw it on the side of the road. It's this, it was a carved piece of wood, a solid piece of wood. And that's gorgeous. Look at that. People are so talented. They are. Becky. Yeah. You have used your magic device. I did. And you have found out how many presidential libraries there are. The presidential library system is comprised of 14 presidential libraries, a documenting presidents Herbert Hoover through Barack Obama. Listed in order in which they were added to the system, presidential libraries and their dedicated dates include Franklin Delano Roosevelt Library we, Museum, July 4th, 1940. We almost went to that. That's up at the Finger Lakes, I believe, in, uh, in New York. Yeah, when we went to, um, like we you went wanted to, to see Lucy's stuff instead. <laughs> yeah, so we went to Cooperstown, and then we went to Jamestown instead of there. <laughs> yeah, we could have gone, yeah. But I, so we've seen Hoover mm -hmm. a couple of times, actually. We've been there twice. twice. Yeah. Um, that's, where... that's in Ohio. Yeah. Okay, so Herbert Hoover's Presidential Library Museum is in uh, West Branch, Iowa, mm -hmm. not Ohio. Oh, well, Iowa. I mean, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt's Presidential Library Museum is in uh, in Hyde Park, New York. That came about, I believe, in 1999. Okay. 
Harry S. Truman Presidential Library and Museum. That's in Independence, Missouri. Dwight D. Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum is in Abilene, Kansas. Mm -hmm. John F. Kennedy Presidential Museum Library and Museum is in Columbus, uh, Columbia Point, Boston, Massachusetts. Lyndon Baines Johnson, oh, I didn't know his middle name was Baines, hmm. is in Austin, Texas. Richard Nixon's is in Yorba, uh, Yorba Linda, Cal California. California. Gerald Ford's Presidential Library is in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. We've, We've been, been to there. that one. Yeah. Oh, he's got two. He's got the library is in Ann Arbor, and he's got the museum is in Grand Rapids. Jimmy Carter's is in Atlanta. Ronald Reagan's is in uh, Simi Valley, California. George Bush's is in um, College Station, Texas. Uh, Bill Clinton's is in Little Rock, Arkansas. George W. Bush is, is in Dallas, Texas. And President Barack Obama's is in Hoffman Estates. It I will It will be. <laughs> yeah, it's not open to the public. Yeah, it's not I'm open. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's, it's that <laughs> close to our house. And I the, literally you know. bowl in Hoffman Estates. Yeah. <laughs> So that's so, all of them. All right. Sounds good. Good job, Beck. Yeah, well, me and my magic device. You're like Felix in his magic bag right there. <laughs> <laughs> Becky and I are just driving through the town and stuff, and all of a sudden we're like, what is that? So we're going to check that out.